I am here with Laura. I met this lovely lady in Aldi today while I was working, and she was sharing with me her recipe in regards to what she's doing specifically. Very knowledgeable. Um, she, I feel like she knows more than me in regards to her cleanse and how the uh, anatomy and physiology of the body works. What are you doing? Um, I'm going to start a detox cleanse to restore my gut flora. Um, it's going to be a vegetable broth. I use carrots, garlic, onion, you can use a green, a turnip green, a uh, kale. I'm gonna use, a, I'm gonna go get some kale and then I'm also gonna use cilantro, you use celery. Basically you boil it, you drink it in the morning, uh, you rotate it with bentonite clay and vegetable broth and I drink the broth three to five times a day. I do it for 10 to 14 days. Um, and then I slowly start incorporating raw veggies and um, over a period of time meats back into my diet. But I basically just do it to restore my mental abilities, um, to be clear headed, uh, better focus, better di digestion, more energy, and um, just restore my gut flora. Great, thanks Laura, that was phenomenal. The uh, the bitonite clay is something I think that's real um, uncommon and foreign to a lot of people when they hear that. Um, that's a soil-based organism. Um, along I with... know it's a binder. Okay. Um, it takes toxins out of your body. There we go. Um, it has um, like electric properties in it that uh, get everything igniting and going. It's a it's it's an absorber. Uh, sponge if you take it in the body it pulls all toxins and it takes them out of the body you know okay. through the digestion process. I know that um, sometimes our toxins recirculate in the body I don't know if you ever heard of that but mm -hmm. that does transpire in the body with a lot of individuals when we try to eliminate toxins they recirculate in the body and we don't rid the body of them entirely so that's another thing is learning doing cold showers or when we detoxify getting them off the body is as quick as possible so i do feel like that's why bentonite clay is important with the cleanses okay um because the bentonite clay uh it does so with a normal cleanse you're gonna have really hard die-off symptoms headaches sluggishness that's Some true people, it makes them really sick um I, that's true. that is why i incorporate the bentonite clay it it doesn't completely eliminate, but it definitely makes the die-off symptoms much more bearable. Where That's I can go a to great work, point. I'm not having um, uh, mood swings and things yeah, like that. Me. So that's where Getting I think the tonight play goes hand in hand with the cleansing. I didn't know that. That's yes. why you bounce ideas off each other. I thought that was a normal process of detoxing and cleansing was the headaches, the sluggishness, the uh, the mood swings, but. I, from your understanding, you're saying that that's not the case. Well, die-off symptoms are common. That's what I'm Very. saying. Anytime you're eliminating sugar, you're gonna you're gonna get those symptoms. But that's where normal cleanses, if you're not educating yourself, you would just be eliminating the foods from your diet, right? Yeah. You just eliminate. You say, okay, well, I'm gonna cut back on meat. Um, maybe I'm sugar. just gonna do vegetables. You still have the sugar bacteria and the yeast that were that are going to try to make you sick. Exacerbate. So that's Definitely. where, with the cleanses, the bentonite clay comes in. So, and you drink that first thing in the morning. The bentonite clay you consume with water prior to starting the broth. Definitely. So, yeah. Doctor Axe talks about bentonite clay. I don't know if you know Josh Axe. His book Eat Dirt, mm -hmm. which is very. Yeah, yes. informative. I also think there's a book called Eat Right for Your Blood Type. Have you heard I of heard that? About that? It's not uh, Lindsay Berkson. No, no. Who, what's the author's name? Uh, oh Eat my gosh, you got me there. Uh, it's funny you said because I heard this last week. They t there was a guy talking about that particular book. Basically, he just pinpoints on certain foods with certain blood causing inflammatory problems inside okay. your body. Um, it specifies a lot on meat, I feel like. And I don't 100%, I've read that book, I don't live by that, but uh, I just think really what's most important is balance. Balancing your veggies to your meat. Um, you know, I think that we, sh we should have a much higher veggie percentage in our diet, maybe 80 to 20. And if you're gonna consume meat, I definitely feel like you have to go through certain measures to be eliminating those meats from your body. That's good. That's a good point. Digesting these meats properly 
people is essential. I think you got the uh, veganists, vegans out there that they they're. I think they're touching upon a, a good point in regards to uh, being vegan and not consuming meat. I get that. So to a certain extent. Yes. But we as Americans most don't do that. You know, I, I do feel like the majority of Americans don't. So you know, a Western you culture your, yeah, diets. You, your and you do so fast food, you know, Driven. Like they want everything fast. They don't want to have to cook it. That's even worse, you know. Yes, ma'am. I'm here with Laura, last name. Hey. Hey. Uh, it was great. I'm going to be connecting with her in regards to a lot of things all natural, holistic. That's another thing you said, vegetables, not to get back on the topic, but we don't consume enough herbs either, of which uh, our diet is very malnourished, and especially when it comes to consuming herbs, herbs. Uh, good vitamins and minerals essential uh, to our blood type like you said that book so 